Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Healthspan. Today we'll go through a study looking at how NMN is protective of eyes in cases of age-related macular degeneration by reducing senescence in the retina. This is the paper. Nicotinamide mononucleotide ameliorates cellular senescence and inflammation caused by sodium iodate in RPE. We will go into what sodium iodate and RPE are in a minute. So one of the key markers of senescent cells is that they have low NAD levels, and they are involved in many age-related diseases, including age-related macular degeneration. Sodium iodate has been shown to induce retinal pigment epithelium senescence. So in vitro, with a line of human RPE cells, the authors showed that sodium iodate did induce behavior similar to RPE cell senescence, including raised SA beta gal P16 and P21, as well as lower NAD and mitochondrial dysfunction. As one of the features that they noticed was oxidative stress, which can cause senescence, they added an antioxidant. Although this reduced the oxidative stress, it did not stop the senescence. Supplementation with NMN, on the other hand, strongly ameliorated the senescence through protecting the NAD and the mitochondria. This behavior depended on normal SIRT1 levels. In an in vivo mouse model, NMN also showed amelioration of senescence and inflammation in the retina. Perhaps the key conclusion here is that NMN may potentially be used to treat RPE senescence and senescence associated pre-AMD by restoring NAD levels. What is the macula and macular degeneration? The macula is an oval-shaped pigmented area in the center of the retina of the eye. It is responsible for the central high-resolution color vision that is possible in good light. The macula may degenerate with age, which leads to a loss of vision in the center of the field. There are two types of macular degeneration, wet and dry. Sodium iodate is used as a model for dry macular degeneration. Retina pigmented epithelial cells are on the outside of the retina, between it and the choroid. It forms an outer protective layer to the light sensing retina cells and the proper function of the eye depends on the RPE being intact. So let's look at the study in more detail. The first part was to show that sodium iodate induced senescence in the RPE cells and so could be used as a model for testing therapies against this. I won't go into this in detail, except to say that after testing various doses, they did see the markers of senescence, such as P16 and P21, in the cell culture, and they determined that adding sodium iodate was a valid model for senescence. The next part was to characterize the cause of the senescence. They saw that there were signs of extra DNA damage and speculated that this was caused by excess reactive oxygen species, as sodium iodate is an oxidant. They did see higher levels of ROS, and adding N-acetylcysteine, an antioxidant, significantly reduced the ROS levels. But what they did see is that it did not significantly help reduce the levels of senescent cells, as measured by SA beta gal. Therefore, there must be a different cause of senescence in this case. They saw AKT mTOR and PGC1-alpha activity indicating that sodium iodate had induced mitochondrial biogenesis. Mitochondrial dysfunction is also known to be associated with macular degeneration. There was an increase in total mitochondrial mass. However, they noticed a reduction in the mitochondrial membrane potential required to generate ATP. And as a follow-on from this, there is a reduction in ATP and NAD levels, pointing to mitochondrial dysfunction being the cause of senescence. Because they had seen lower NAD levels, and it is known to play a role in the diseases of aging, they tried first boosting the NAD in the cells by adding one micromolar NMN to the culture 24 hours before the test. Here we can see the percent of senescent cells as shown by expression of SA beta gal was almost the same as control with NMN. The ATP level, I know it says APT, but I think this is a typo as in the legend, it is clear that it is ATP, also was improved with NMN. An interesting test that they did was to either boost or inhibit SIRT1 to see whether the mechanism of action was through SIRT1. 
as expected, NMN on its own reduced the number of senescent cells. Inhibiting SIRT1 with EX527 effectively removed this, which was largely expected. However, increasing the expression of SIRT1 with SRT1720 also cancelled the effect of NMN, showing that SIRT1 is required, but that overactivation causes its own cellular stress that counteracts the impact of NMN. Having shown the impact in vitro and investigated the mechanism, they tried NMN in a mouse model of sodium iodate-induced macular degeneration. The mice were injected with NMN at 300 mg per kilogram per day for seven days before the trial. 300 mg per kilogram would be about 24 mg per kilogram for a human or around 1.7 grams for a 70 kilogram person. The sodium iodate did reduce the NAD levels which were rescued by the NMN. This had a beneficial effect on the senescent cells as shown by the lower expression of P21. Also looking at the structure of the RPE, which is of key importance in protecting the retina, we can see that the cells have retained their original hexagonal shape much better with added NMN. Removing the senescence also reduced the levels of inflammation. In conclusion, they showed that NMN could ameliorate cellular senescence and retinal inflammation caused by sodium iodate. Hopefully this effect would also work for senescence in the RPE from other causes. It is interesting that there have been anecdotal reports of NMN improving eyesight, and this points to a possible mechanism for that improvement. Sleep and stress management are vital for longevity. And my wife and I have been looking for ways to improve our sleep quality. After doing our research, we realized that magnesium is the key. Magnesium is a crucial mineral in hundreds of reactions in our body. And it has an impact on everything from metabolism to sleep, to energy, even bone and muscle health. It also has a role to play in stress response. So deficiency in this basic nutrient leads to bad sleep quality, low energy, accumulating stress and impacts our overall health. There are also different forms of magnesium and it's difficult to get all of it in your diet. Three months ago, we started trying a magnesium supplement from Bioptimizers. Their magnesium breakthroughs formulation has seven different forms of magnesium, all of which have a different function in the body. For myself, I really noticed the difference. I frequently get jumpy legs at night, but with magnesium breakthrough, I'm not disturbed by my jumpy legs and I get a better, deeper sleep. We're happy to tell you that Bioptimizers is offering a 10% discount for this special magnesium formula to our audience, just go to www.magnesiumbreakthrough.com slash modern or click on the link in the description and use the coupon code MODERN10 for a 10% discount. Thank you so much for your support, as always. Yeah.